Tonight, what was supposed to be a dream vacation in the Virgin Islands turning into a frightening ordeal and now an investigation. An entire family sickened after allegedly being exposed to highly toxic pesticides at a posh resort. So what was it and how did it get there? ABC's Lindsay Davis now. Tonight, members of this Delaware family fighting for their lives after what was supposed to be a relaxing getaway. They're one of those families that everyone likes to be around, and it's just, it's just horrible. Like so many families jetting off to the Caribbean for spring break, the Esmonds chose this luxurious resort in St. John, but their vacation in paradise short-lived. According to the EPA, the day the family checked into a second-floor condo here at Siranusa, the condo below them was sprayed with methyl bromide to kill an indoor bug. That pesticide, so toxic, it was banned by the EPA for indoor residential use in the U.S. in 1984. By that night, the entire family started having adverse health effects. The two teen boys both suffered seizures. If the dose was substantial enough over a fairly substantial period of time, hours, maybe some of the consequences will not resolve completely. Three of the four family members were put on ventilators. On March 23rd, the parents airlifted to a Delaware hospital, and their two sons airlifted to the Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. He's been one of my best friends, and I, it's really scary to think that this could happen to somebody that you know. The Department of Justice is investigating. Terminix, the company the EPA says applied the pesticide, releasing this statement to ABC News. We are cooperating with authorities in their investigation, and we're conducting our own thorough investigation in the matter. The father and sons remain in critical condition. The mother has reportedly been released from the hospital. Methyl bromide is not an illegal substance. It's commonly used in farming. The EPA now investigating if this pesticide was used in other locations in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York.